Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. Let's go to Annalisa to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history, on April 20th, 2008, 26-year-old Danica Patrick wins the Indy Japan 300 at Twin Ring, Montegi in Montegi, Japan, making her the first female winner in the IndyCar racing history. Danica Patrick became involved in racing as a young girl and as a teenager moved to England in hopes of better training opportunities. During the 2006 season, Patrick finished in ninth place in the overall Indy car standings, but didn't win any major races. In 2007, she moved to the Andrade Green Racing Team and finished the season seventh in 2008. Her career-defining moment occurred when she won the Indy Japan 300. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. The world's best female rock climber is 20 years old. Rock climbing, where participants ascend or descend natural rock formations, is not an easy sport. It requires not only physical strength, but also complete mental concentration. But don't tell 20-year-old Shasha de Gullion that. This fearless girl, who has been dominating the sport ever since she entered the fray, is just getting warmed up. The bubbly youngster, who is also pursuing a creative writing degree at Columbia University, says that she began climbing even before she could walk. As a baby, she was constantly escaping from her cot and as a toddler, always leading her friends to, to the nearest rocks or hills. Then, at the age of seven, she attended her brother's birthday party at a local rock climbing gym and knew she had found her calling. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey ham and cheese sandwich, sun splash veggie juice, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced peaches, mayo, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Get your yearbook today for just $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Scholars, this month will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming April FSA dates. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today we want you to create an FSA rap or rhyming poem. This would be the perfect time to let your musical talent shine. Teachers, share your students rap or poem with us on the RPTV OneDrive. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 91 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. I like anywhere with a beach. A beach and warm weather is all I need. Now let's go to Shema for the joke of the day. Thank you, D. And here's today's joke of the day. How did the barber cut the moon's hair? Eclipse it. Now let's go to Sam for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. Another great joke. Today for the boys and girls are Nicholas Heath, Asaya Monford, and Matthew Hernandez. Happy birthday! Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Velez, Miss Calabrese, Miss Barrow, Miss Kane, Miss Iron Denqua. Ms. Mraz, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Manon, and Ms. Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, a girl throws a ball as hard as she can. It comes back to her, even though nothing and nobody touches it. How? The correct answer to the riddle was, she throws the ball upward. Now for today's riddle. What letter of the alphabet appears at, at the start of many questions? Again, what letter of the alphabet appears at the start of many questions? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.